Today, we're going to talk about the Swiss cheese strategy to control the coronavirus. It's the key way to learn how to dance against the virus. So imagine that you have a community. And how does the virus spread if you don't have any measure? Well, you're going to have some people coming into your community, seeding the infection. And then if you don't control uh, anything, what's going to happen is that the virus is going to spread little by little from one person to the other. And that's what happened in March. So that's why a lot of countries around the world applied what's called the hammer, right? You have all these cases coming into your community and countries didn't really know what was happening because they didn't have enough testing and they were not prepared. And so they knew there were some cases and they knew these cases were growing exponentially, but they didn't really have a good sense of exactly how many cases there were. And so they applied the hammer, which means closing the economy, asking people to stay home so that uh, the uh, virus doesn't spread anymore, so that the hospital system is not completely collapsed, and to buy time for the government to better understand the virus and how to fight it. And with that hammer, uh, with people staying home, obviously the infections start going down. Now, the downside of that is it's extremely expensive because people spend money when they meet other people. And so if you prevent them from meeting other people, from going to the shops, uh, they will stop uh, consuming and the economy is going to go down. So what did countries do, especially in Europe? They applied the hammer and then they released it during the summer. What happened? Obviously, then you still have a few infections and the infections continue spreading and they start going again, again and again. And now the European countries are applying the hammer again. They did it in March and April and it made sense at the time because we didn't know how to handle the virus. But now with the second uh, resurgence, they are applying the hammer again. And that makes no sense because it's so expensive to the economy. Some countries apply a full hammer where everybody needs to stay home, uh, but there's other ways to reduce social contact. Things like closing clubs, having curfews, and things like that. So, what's a better strategy? It's what some people have called the Swiss cheese strategy. And it's pretty simple. You have several different layers of defense. First, don't get infections into your community. Second, once they're in, prevent them from meeting other people. Third, when they do meet other people, prevent them from infecting them. And four, if they do infect these other people, identify and neutralize uh, those infections. And so these four steps, let's go into the detail for each one of them. First is the fence. And if you have a fence controlling who comes in and out, what's gonna happen is that many of the people who were in, are infected and would have come into your community are going to bounce off and they're not going to be seeding new potential outbreaks. A fence is never going to be perfect, and so people might go through with an infection and see the community. So that's why you have a second layer, bubbles, where you're preventing people from meeting other people, right? And you can be as aggressive as a full hammer where people cannot go out and they only see people from their household, or you can be much more lenient, simply reducing the size of crowds or preventing big concerts and sports events and things like that. In the middle, you have things like closing bars, closing clubs, curfews, closing shops, closing schools. The third layer of defense is what I called contrafection. So it's like contraception, right? which is contraconception. These are protections against the infection, contra-infection, contrafection. Right? So, uh, this refers to lower contagiousness. When people do meet somebody else, they should not infect that other person. And so what are some measures that can be done for that? Well, things like masks, wearing goggles, uh, meeting in the outdoors, having great ventilation, increasing temperature and humidity. All of these are ways that we can reduce the spread of the virus when two people meet. And then there's the four layer, which is... Uh, even with all these things, there will be some people who end up infecting others. And so you want to identify those 
infections and neutralize them. And so that's what a test, trace, isolate does. You test people, you trace their contacts, and if they are infected uh, or they might be infected, you isolate or quarantine them. So with that, this is the Swiss cheese strategy, these four layers of defense. None of them are going to be perfect, but all together they, com they can completely stop an outbreak. And you can see how this compares to the hammer uh, alone with no dents, where in one situation in the left you have the hammer which is extremely expensive because you on and on you keep people home, whereas in the dance a lot of the economy can be open as long as you're intelligent about the measures uh, to stop the virus and none of them are going to be perfect but all together are going to stop the virus.